It's very early October, and I've already bought pumpkins, sent an artificial pumpkin to our grandson, eaten peanuts and candy corn by the handfuls. And while I was Skyping our son, his wife, and the grandson this morning, they were asking me if I'd send some Halloween costumes for Rowan's November birthday. They're for dress up and playtimes, really. Superman, Buzz Lightyear, Sesame Street, they were the suggested character costume ideas. And while we were talking, Rowan ran out of the room. He came back fully costumed in the outfit we sent him last year. It was of a black Spider-Man. He was all muscle, totally black, with a matching head mask with only white strips where the eyes could see through the mesh fabric. I told his parents, I didn't know what happened to Rowan, and who was this Spider-Man in the room? Well, even at almost four years old, Rowan is smart enough to figure out fake from real. He pulled off the head mask and said, It's me, Grammy. That's something a lot of adults haven't figured out or are back at being fooled somehow. They think that maybe tarot cards, fortune tellers, the horoscope, a television personality, a boyfriend, a book, a parent, neighbor, even a stranger has an answer for the direction of their life. We want to know who we are and where we're headed. Here's what Isaiah has to say about the matter. When people tell you, try out the fortune tellers, consult the spiritualists, Why not tap into the spirit world, get in touch with the dead? Tell them, no, we're going to study the scriptures. People who try the other ways get nowhere, a dead end. Frustrated and famished, they try one thing after another. When nothing works, they get angry, cursing first this God and then that one, looking this way and that, up, down, and sideways, and seeing nothing, A blank wall, an empty hole. They end up in the dark with nothing. But Isaiah goes on to further state the good news. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For those who lived in a land of deep shadows, light, sunbursts of light. His name is Amazing Counselor, Strong God, Eternal Father, Prince of Wholeness. There will be no end to the wholeness he brings. Well, Rowan took off the costume. I imagine it was stuffy and impractical, and it really wasn't him. I have a feeling when the light is on, he really likes his real self best. God doesn't want us in the darkness, in the land of deep shadows, but he wants us to be living in the light. Isn't it time to leave the hollowness of pretension only for Halloween and determine to live the honest, hallowed life every 